Alright, let's go again. It's Jared on Manchester.com. Let's play a 10 minute game. Let's try and win a game. 1200, Ganador 2012. What flag is this? Spain. And is he gonna move? Yes. We'll have this again. E5. I'm going to have bishop b5, b5, I did, I did that again, okay, maybe not, a3, huh, hmm, might as well attack that center pawn, and g6, bishop g7, making a lot of pawn moves and not many peace moves, peace development moves. So what does that mean? Does that mean that I can play knight d4? Takes, takes... Not really. d5? Not really. Castles? Not reasonable enough. I think h5 might be useful. It's preventing g4. Ah, uh, yes, the old bishop h6 again. I can prevent that actually with king h7. Let's go for that. There, there is that move. If we repeat position, I think I'll vary. Don't really want to draw against this 1200. Um, not really. Um, so what uh, is the plan here? A bit of psychological play going on with repeating moves. Okay. So d6 looks reasonable to get my bishop developed. So might as well play it. Okay, a pawn break in the center. Try this. I'm losing a pawn. He's going for this again. Two pieces for the rook. Really? Should I take? Um, bishop takes. Doesn't look so so good. Knight h7. He won't really take on f7, will he? So 
So, what's what's going on? Am I threatening anything? Not really. I'm actually pretty passive in this position, it seems. <clears throat> okay. Got rid of that really annoying knight. Okay. Uh, can I take here? Doesn't that fork? Um, it's two pieces. I think it does. Yeah, it does. Bishop takes and win a piece. Bishop moves, grab the knight. It's a bit of a blunder. Um, I would prefer to get the bishop, I think. Okay, the bishop. So, I'm on the rook at the end of this. So the knight at the moment is uh, pinned to the rook. So pinned pieces are dead pieces. Uh, yes, should I just exchange off? I'm up a piece. Um, it is my Fianchetto Bishop. Might want to keep it. Might as well exchange off, I think. Let's just exchange. Certainly not worse. Um, so what's next? He still hasn't castled. What about just knight c6? Maybe we, maybe going to e5. Um, I think my king is pretty safe. Okay, problems on h3. Can I sack? Takes. Queen g5 check. Uh, queen g5 check, queen blocks. There's no need. Really. So I just develop my bishop, develop some pieces. Um, or, just, or just occupy this e-file. First. So something needs to be done about e4. That bishop's unprotected, and so is the queen. So we have three unprotected pieces, the bishop, queen, and the pawn. The pawn can be protected pretty easily. Uh-huh. So I've got an access path to his king in that direction. So where do I want to get my pieces now? Knight e5 seems okay. This bishop is looking a bit stupid. Needs some work. Or should I just play... Um, knight e5? Bishop d7. 95 seems reasonable enough. Don't see any reason not to play it. f4. Just move it. Move it to d7, then to c5. Uh, 
Okay, just exchange. Um, I'm up a piece, I'll just exchange. Gains a tempo on the queen. Um, okay, he, he attacks b7, maybe. No. <clears throat> so I can get a check in. Maybe that'll be good. Okay, I can play check. Is that useful? It's my queen doing something. Okay, and... Probably should lock this down. Is f5 good? Uh, if he plays f5 himself... Uh, that might be a bit scary. Might have to play it. I think I play bishop takes and I have the open e, e file if he takes. Uh, I will lose d6. Do I want to lose d6? Uh, if I lose d6, his queen has to go to b4 at the end of it. And then I exchange queens. His, his pawns are doubled. I think I'll go for it. So he takes on d6, rook a to d8. Um, queen to b4. And I get the queens off and I get my rook up to d2. Or simply just take on c2. I'm attacking two pawns. Ah, he has that square. I didn't see that square. Queen C7. Just watching over my second rank for a second. Trying to get rid of this pesky queen. If I can get the queens off, um, in fact, Queen G7 will threaten to get the queens off. Oh, I could just take that. I think I can just take. Takes. Bishop takes. Check. Blocks. Um, I think I'll take. I'm potentially going to give my, my uh, opponent the h-file, but I think um, I'll be able to defend this enough. Okay, queen h4 check maybe? <clears throat> yeah, alright. It's king g7. Okay, I can take on c2. Take on c2. There are no checks, are there? Okay. I can take here. He's threatening queen h6 check. Okay, okay. Oh, why not just do this move? Rook H8 just wins. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Check to get this rock off. That's all I want to do at the moment, to get pieces off. Okay. That just wins, wins the rock. Okay. Not much to say now. Uh, but will he let his clock tick? That's the question. No, okay. Might as well just grab these pawns. He's going for a stalemate, um, and I say no. No stalemate. Um, well, I might as well attack this pawn. It's pinned now. Okay. Let's see what he's going to do. Can't get a stalemate. Ah, if I push this, he's got king d3. As a square. Okay, and I've got check here. Just got to keep up the checks and check here looks good. And then queen there, check. And checkmate. Okay, good game. Let's take a look. And I was under a bit of pressure. Had a couple knight moves. Um, I won a piece there, That's that helps. Um, and yeah, just trying to get my pieces out doing stuff. I sack d6 so I can get my pieces developed and I've got to get out of queen h6 check but there's rook h8 to win the queen and now I just get pieces off and yeah not much to say here but... thanks for checking out this game I hope you enjoyed it I'll see you in the next one see you later